honestly, this is probably the least used thing in my whole place. Like, I sit in this chair every once in a while and I realize how comfortable it is. I should take advantage of this, bro. I don't even do the Maybach thing, bro. Yeah, son. This? I should, yo. Put on a fucking movie. Or do other things. There are many things you can do in this chair. Welcome, ladies and gentlemen, to the Not Retro and Rare podcast. Something a little different. Uh, we're going to be doing a lot of new content on the YouTube channel. The number one requested thing I get is to check out the new place. Moved in about six months ago. Still kind of under construction, but I definitely have some cool stuff to show you guys. Let's go check it out. Doyle, are you rolling? Yeah, we're good. Oh my God. Go. So anyway, first of all, I want to apologize. Doyle gets to touch the camera today. If you're a fan of the podcast, you know it's been a thing. It's against my better judgment. I had no one else to do it. Just, okay. So listen, ladies and gentlemen, I appreciate you guys checking out the room tour. Right when you walk in, some of the most inspirational albums for me. Uh, I love vinyl, I collect vinyl. And um, these, they don't often switch, but I might, because they're very simple to open and put new stuff in. Um, but yeah, I mean, if you look at them, you see classics, Reasonable Doubt, It Was Written, Wu Tang. I mean, it's just, you know, obvious classics here. I showed a little love to the West Coast. People get on me, I'm East Coast bias. But you know, of course, Illmatic, which I believe is the greatest hip hop album of all time. Got Ready to Die by Biggie. And uh, yeah, it's right when you walk in. But more importantly than that, Doyle, if you want to swing the camera over over here, you know I love the Wolves. Now, I found this at the Goodwill for $3. Can't beat it. It's a, it's a numbered piece here, 618 out of 950. I'm a wolf guy. The pups? Anyone knows? Yeah, the pups, bro. The dog that's outside, he's kind of a wolf. He's a husky, wolf family. I'm hairy like a wolf. It works out. Come on. All right, so check it out. When you walk right in, boom, living room situation, kitchen situation. The reason why I love this place, honestly, why I even wanted to live here is because of how open the space is. And I didn't want to kill that with couches and chairs. So I was minimal with the, you know, the big ass couch on the side. A lot of people think that you can't see the viewing angle. The OLED is beautiful, Doyle, would you agree? Do you know the model of this OLED, Doyle? The C1. The C1, okay. Cause you're the one that hooked me up on it. I don't know what the model is. It's one of my favorite TVs I've ever owned. I think OLED's the only way to go on TVs, but we're kind of jumping around. The point I was trying to make is I love the open space in here. It looks beautiful. Got my arcade one-up cabinets in the corner. Got the churn box shirt up top there with the artwork and the vinyl. I mean, the vibe in here is dope. Now, I will say at night, it becomes a completely different place. There's one of also my favorite things about it. It's like a two for one situation. See all the lighting? I got the Philips Hue lighting. At night, it looks crazy. Definitely different. And obviously the way I set shit up is different. Uh, it's kind of a minimalist approach. Got some of my old, you know, these are all Goodwill finds. A lot of people ask me where I get my stereos and tape decks and stuff. These are all Goodwill slash thrifting finds, garage sale situation. Uh, of course, the PS5, though, you hooked me up on that. Appreciate it. No. You tried to scumbag me for an extra few hundred dollars. You didn't get it. You got retail. You got a speeding ticket, it. though. But shut up. So honestly, one of the dopest parts about this place for me was the view. I definitely wanted to be in a high rise with a decent view. What I love about the view is number one, I have two balconies. We'll show the other one in a second. But what's cool is you get Lake Eola right here, beautiful lake. And then you also have a city scape right next to it. So you kind of get the vibe of, a, you know, metropolis buildings and then you get the nice lake. It's beautiful. And if you come over here, you'll see the other balcony. The other balcony, which is way bigger than the other one. This is where we see the dog though. You might as well check to see if the puppy is outside. The pup? That would be amazing. He's, he's not, not there. I haven't seen him in a few days. I hope he's all right. Damn it. Another thing you guys have seen in a ton of my videos, whether it's on my story or just live or whatever, are my arcade one-up Marvel machines. These are definitely one of my most coveted things because three incredible cabs. Now I love arcade one-up. We get into a lot of discussion about the four player ones being too small. I think the two player ones are perfect. I love the selection of games, although I wish they would have mixed and matched a little bit better. Still really, really awesome. And it really fits the apartment, the vibe and everything. I'm um, really happy. I have two other ones in the game room, which we will get to. One of them not being functional, but pretty dope. Well, I mean, it wouldn't be a video of mine without showing Carnage a million times. So obviously I got the statues. Matter of fact, this Carnage statue was the first piece that I got in this apartment. It was like four or five days 
before I moved my stuff in where that thing sat in the kitchen and it was the only thing in this apartment. So if you broke into my place at that part, you would know. It's uh, my place because it's carnage. Anyway, I think it looks amazing. This was kind of an accidental setup. Hue lighting in the background for a little bit of an effect. It might change, it might not. Like I said before, this entire place is still kind of under construction, so we shall see. Don't zoom in. Just hit record and fucking follow All me. Right. Okay, listen. All right, so let's check out the game room now. The game room is under construction. A lot of people have already hit me up like, yo, I like the old game room. The old game room was better. Listen, that took 10 years. I've been here a few months. Shit's been crazy. Give me a fucking break. Let's go check it out. Now, as you can see, things are under construction. Once again, the view. Fucking love the view in here. Looks beautiful. This is where we're going to film the podcast at some point. A lot of people have been hitting us up. Yo, filming in the game room. We got the window. In the All right. Gamete. Okay. Check this out, though. I want to show the people this. The real collectors will see right off the bat there's some notable items in here. What do we got? Netanyazaro controller? Prototype Netanyazaro? I mean, come on, bro. Nintendo Power 100. This is the nerd portion of it. If, if you guys like to tune out with all the cool, nice, luxurious view and shit, this is the nerd portion for the nerds, okay? Power 100 controller, though. You know how many of those they made? I didn't think so. Okay. GameCube. This is your favorite controller, Doyle, am I correct? The GameCube one, which you use mostly for the Game Boy games on the GameCube. You might have deboed that for me. No, what? No, you have a blue one. Oh, yeah. Yeah, yeah, this is mine. Yeah, don't, don't touch me. Now, I might have deboed this from you, but I didn't. Because I don't normally have Pokemon shit, but this is an official. This is not a repro. This is a real deal. Pretty dope. Tommy Hill? What game's in here? Of course. What thing? Of course. That'll be it. You know, little things, like I'm a weirdo, like, you know, you know, I see a lot of cats now, a couple cats got the Wu-Tang controller. You might want to check, your boy's been, you know, 10, 15 years at this fucking thing. I'm just, I'm just saying, I'm not, you know, like, God bless everybody, but I'm just saying. Sega Nomad, as you move on, you'll see a lot of fight sticks. We're actually going to do some videos here for fight sticks, which are pretty dope. Come check the corner out, the cozy corner, the collector's corner. Once again, all under construction. This is just kind of what my brain did to try to kind of organize stuff. There's a lot of random shit. There's also classic shit. Marvel vs. Capcom 2 on every format possible. Fatboy PS3, Xbox 360. This, uh, you know, the what is it? The Steel Battalion. I don't know what we're gonna do with that. I was gonna make an entire setup just for that. But I will say something pretty dope that I enjoy a lot is this piece of furniture. Let's, uh, let's turn the light on here. Let's turn it on. This is pretty cool. I guess, I don't know if the glass is causing a glare, but if you want to come check out some figures in here, there is definitely some cool shit in here that, most notably the MF Doom mask. Um, some of my favorite Marvel characters, obviously Carnage. We have an injured Carnage in the back that we have not fixed yet. We are getting to that, along with some other injured buddies up top that have fell. There's definitely a crime scene investigation going on, but we'll get to that later. Metal Gear. Um... People always ask me about these sneakers down here. The Sega Sports Cross Trainers from the 90s. These are dead stock. Um, I got these on eBay for $30. Come to find out they're extremely rare. And some people might not give a fuck. I give a fuck. I think they're fucking awesome. And I'm going to keep them forever. And then we have Gran Turismo sneakers. Now, also people wonder what the hell this is. Oh. Well. This is when your boy Mikey was in his early 20s and got his first Benz and thought he was cool and uh, decided to get a license plate that said holla. Yeah, they didn't have the L, so your boy did the one, it still worked. Just imagine me as a 20 year old with a two door Benz and this license plate. How much of a douchebag do you think I was? Honestly. And then, you know, in here, like I was saying, this piece of furniture, which I definitely love, um, I bought it because it looked different. I like the display case on this side. I like how everything is kind of cube based here. It's OCD friendly, as I like to say. Gotta have everything even. And I mixed and matched with the new and the old. We got the old CRT here playing Nintendo 64, which is kind of tucked away. Uh, there's also an NES down there. But how many people do you know have a PlayStation Pro? And then on top of it is a Panasonic 3DO. And then on top of that is really a Panasonic 3DO testing station. I don't know. Below that, what do we got, Doyle? 
Panasonic? Yup, the Q. Japanese only release Panasonic GameCube, which had a standard size disc tray so you could play both DVDs and the smaller GameCube games, which is dope. And it's cosmetically one of the illest looking uh, consoles ever made in my opinion. Lights up with blue LEDs. Then I have a bunch of controllers, Xbox stuff. Don't really play the newer Xbox stuff as much, but um, I've had it and I've had it for a while, so it's cool. The other things we got over here, and this is where it gets sketchy. First of all, I just want to explain that we're in the master bedroom of this place. Do you understand? I'm crazy enough to get this beautiful place and then go, eh, collection's more important. Get the master bedroom. I'll just be in the guest bedroom on the side there. So as you'll see, Doyle, if you want to follow me over to this side, you'll see an opening here with the light on. I don't know what room is this. I don't know. That's the bathroom. You know what the bathroom has in it? Go ahead and peek over the corner there, Doyle. Okay. We got more totes full of shit in the bathroom. It's been there for three or four months now. We're getting to it. It's still functional if you need it to be, but I have another bathroom. Uh, you know, things are priority, you know, priority driven situation here and the, the collection Malone. took over. Yeah, Bones Malone, shout out to Bones Malone. Uh, he is uh, a staple on the podcast now. I believe somebody suggested that we put a hat on him, hat of the day on Bones Malone. So shout out to you. I don't know who suggested that, but I saw it in the, um, in the comments there. I have a bunch of VHS, Tapes, uh, tapes stacked up here, along with some of my favorite Genesis titles. We got The Punisher, we got Contra, we got Hyperstone Heist, Maximum Carnage. Bunch of cool shit. Shit that I'm looking to display better. And this will be cool, because what we'll do is, we'll come back and make a second tour of just the game room when it's complete. Because right now it's kind of in disarray, but it's organized chaos in some regard. Uh, and as if you want to sweep over here a little bit, You'll see we got more arcade one-up machines. We got the Mortal Kombat and the Street Fighter. Unfortunately, the Street Fighter randomly just shut off. It is the oldest of the arcade one-up machines. It's actually a first gen of the first ones they put out. And uh, I don't know, about four months ago, it just randomly stopped turning on. So we'll have to fix that. And uh, I like the idea. You know, I was struggling with what to put here. We're gonna get another desk. Ended up with my Disney villains on top with another piece of hue lighting. Looks awesome. This room again at night looks way different. And uh, if you want to look over here, this is where it gets old school. So what we got over here is the Panasonic uh, tube television that we've had for years from the other game room. And then we got the GX TV. Two incredible CRTs, Sega Saturn with another 3DO, Dreamcast, Virtual Boy. This is a functional station. I do have some vintage uh, audio equipment underneath there. But it's not the final form. It's kind of, you know, the girlfriend was looking at it, so she's like, I don't like how it stacks. It's still, it's, st you know, I'm like, you know what? You're kind of right. You're kind of, okay. I, I kind of took that to heart and looked at it, and I'm like, I don't know. But I got to get more lighting behind there. I was thinking about putting another TV up there. And then this, which is really the podcast table that we use and bring in there um, to the living room to film the show. Right now, it's kind of the editing station. And uh, I was gonna get another one, but I'm kind of running out of room as far as the table is concerned. So remember Doyle, after we film this, we're gonna film the podcast. So we're gonna need to clear this off and I'm gonna need you to carry that into the living room. Okay? Damn it. Thank you. Now also, just cause it's sitting here, a brand new pickup, baby garage sale pickup for an undisclosed price, way below what it is worth, was a complete inbox PCFX. Now, not the greatest system ever. I understand Japanese only. Most of the games for it, not so great. There's a couple classics, but once again, obscure as fuck, retro as fuck, and cosmetically look at it. It looks like a, a tower from a 90s computer, which it is in a smaller form for the top loading disc tray. Oh. Incredible. All right, ladies and gentlemen, we've come to what we like to call the closet of doom, the catacombs. This would be the new catacombs. So we had the catacombs in the other uh, setup where it's like the dresser drawers full of random extra shit. This is supposed to be the master closet. This is where it gets kind of crazy. Come on, check it out. All right, as soon as you walk in, boom, my boy, he's guarding this place. Don't fuck around, no dumb shit. He's obviously ready for whatever. But you know what, Doyle? Show him to your right, about 16 degrees to your right. Yeah. This is where things get, yeah. There's a lot of games in here, a lot of games we gotta bring out, a lot of games we gotta categorize. I'm gonna start getting into that where I'm categorizing them by genre, not alphabetically. 
but we got PS2, we got PS4, we got NES, we got Sega Saturn, Sega CD, Sega Genesis, Game Boy of all kinds, PC games, PSP games, PS Vita games. I mean, it's kind of ridiculous. Oh, and you know what? One of the crowning jewels in there is that Street Fighter Turbo right there on the 3DO. Do I remember when you got that? And I think you snagged it on eBay for the low and it was sealed. And then I tricked you. We could have got it graded. I tricked you and put the VR headset on you and played that game while I got a knife and opened it up. Pretty amazing stuff and I'm glad I did because it's my favorite version of Street Fighter. Maximum Carnage OGT from the uh, promotion of the game. Acclaim, SNES, and Genesis. Super dope. And this ridiculous, ridiculous Gucci. I mean, I don't even know what I was thinking when I bought this. I'm gonna be honest, I always say I kind of regret it. It was super expensive. I don't say that to brag. I think it was kind of a dumb decision. It's dope. And then I read this card and it says it has a tracking device on it, which is odd. And they claim that they're not tracking you. I don't know. It's still a beautiful piece of garment, if you will. Got the Dolce & Gabbana for dinner. This is when I go out to dinner. I like to wear the DG. It's a beautiful thing. It's GameCube. This is, yeah. That's the only reason I bought it is because it looks like GameCube. And it struck me, and I went into Neiman Marcus for a month. I kept walking by, and then I didn't think it was going to fit me, and I put it on in the dressing room, and it fit like a glove. This, though, is the crowning jewel in here. Everybody at this point knows what this is. Gift from Raekwon years ago. This was actually in the room tour video from the other, the other one, but only built for Cuban links. He told me there's 10 in the world and he has the other nine. So it's one of my most coveted pieces. Shout out to the chef. Other than that, we got some fire stuff, some polo stuff, Kenzo. I mean, Versace. I mean, there's some really cool bathing ape, uh, Gran Turismo. Of course, oh, I, of course I have a wolf, vintage wolf. You know, there's, I, I mean, we could go through this in detail at some point. I'm actually going to do a video review. Uh, shout out to my people at Chalkline. I have about 35 Chalkline jackets in there, including shorts. I have so much cool shit to show for people that are fans of, of vintage clothes and things like that. Somebody, you know what? You want to get that Doyle up there? There's the Funko Land hat up there, which is really something special. That was an employee hat. Uh, from years ago. I also love to collect hats. I'm a little bit overboard with the hats, but nothing you can see is like excess. So this is like the kitchen area. I guess it's an open common space, but um, oh, check out the Silver Surfer. Got it today. Everybody always asks me about the Silver Surfer from the shop that I'm going to get that's hanging on the ceiling. Listen, I need something to uh, subsidize me in between. This is going to work out just fine. I don't think it's its final resting place. Anything I get new always sits in that spot for at least a day or two. And uh, other than that, a pretty normal kitchen. It looks cool. It's great for me. Uh, nothing special. Oh, I guess we can check what's in the fridge because there's nothing in my fridge. Uber Eats takes all my money. I can cook, decide not to. I only cook if it's like for the girlfriend or the girlfriend sometimes cooks for me. Other than that, this is all we got in here. Bunch of V8 juice, some water, some whipped cream. And Doyle, would you put this in here? Is this yours? That's zero sugar. Zero sugar, yeah, okay. I'll give it to you. And white claw for when you want to get nuts. Okay, white claw. I don't drink. I, have white claw in my face. I got white claw in my face. All right, you know what? Let's go check the bedroom out. Slash sneaker room. The problem we have here is the sneaker situation is a little out of control. A lot of people have been telling me to go to the uh, container store, get some containers and da da da. I, I don't know what to do at this point. It's wrapping around the whole room. Now this was the guest room. This is not the master bedroom. The master bedroom, the collection is in. I'm not gonna, you know what I said? I, that's priority, right? But it is nice. I mean, look at the view, Doyle. Can you see out there? This is a great view. I actually really like this room. I think it's, I, I, it's just perfect. I don't know. So this is the other, this is the auxiliary closet. A lot of you guys ask me about all my fits and my clothes and my shit. This is just, Years and years and years of going to Goodwill. Very few of my pieces are bought, you know, secondhand resale pricing. Um, and once again, I'm gonna do a review on like in depth about some of my favorite vintage pieces I have. But for now, uh, Doyle, you can kind of just pan around in there. I don't know how exciting it is, but it's pretty fucking packed full of craziness, including my hats and shit like that. Stacks of fucking clothes. Some of which I, I probably should get rid of at some point. Anything that doesn't fit me, I gotta get rid of it at some point. Just the way it's gotta be. Yankees? Yeah, I do have quite a few Yankee hats. I don't say that. Uh, 
another thing is like when I'm on live or I take pictures, people always ask me, I'm a watch guy. I have a few of my watches out, nothing crazy. I've actually gotten rid of a few. It's kind of how I justify it. I made a little money on some of them. It justifies having the other ones. Got a couple of Rolexes here. I'm wearing the uh, Datejust that's custom. But this is the American Psycho watch. Everyone always asks me about this watch. This is a beautiful watch. Tapestry dial, 1987. I think the reference number is 16203. You know, I look at watches, especially Rolexes, as a, as a pretty decent investment. So, you know, granted, somewhat, sometimes they can be expensive. These are Datejust and they're 36 millimeter. They're not terribly expensive, but honestly, the watch game is something that, as a tangible asset, just to get kind of serious for a second, you might want to look into. You know, gold, I'm into gold. I like those kind of things. So, and of course, you know, what's nice about it is you get to enjoy it as well as it's a good investment. A couple other pieces in here, nothing too crazy. Got the, the G-Shock, the Wu-Tang G-Shock. You don't see this too often. Doyle, you have one of these as well, right? Yeah. Super cool. And I have it on the, the gauntlet, yeah. which is dope. I think that's pretty dope. Um, and other than that, I mean, I, I, okay, I guess come check out my bathroom in here. I'm a pretty, I'm a neat freak. I know shit is all in, you know, I got some of my fragrances here. I can put people on the game if you want to smell good. Smelling good is key. You feel Pro good? Probably, yes. Yeah, smell yeah. good? Yep, there you see. Now you're getting it, Doyle. Do you well, he doesn't even say it. You look good, you feel good, you do good. I know, I know. Mercedes cologne is the most underrated cologne ever. Actually, my girl out of all those colognes, she loves the Mercedes cologne. Nobody ever knew that. I got when I bought my car, they gave me a gift bag. It was in there and I fell in love with it. Beautiful. Other than that, we got a shower. I don't know what else. Where's my bathroom? Is it? There's nothing exciting here. You need to take a shower? No, no. Oh, easy, okay. easy, bro. Get out. Down with me. No, wait, wait, wait. 